this, Digging for Old. Our segments usually center on something in the Oregon Historical Society's collection. But tonight, we're bucking that rule to show you a discovery from Eastern Oregon that's making big waves in the science world. Why, you ask? Well, because it's the only example of this type of fossil ever found on the face of the Earth. And oh yeah, it's 29 million years old. Let's set the stage for you. We're headed out to the John Day fossil beds. Now, you may have gone there to go to the high school and just kind of dig up fossils on your own like I did with my family. This is the same area, but different specific part, okay? These are part of the National Park Service in Eastern Oregon. The particular find was made in the Sheep Rock Unit. Here it is, you may not look like much, but this is a fossilized grasshopper egg nest. Now, a few isolated eggs were found in years past, and the best guess at the time was that they were ant eggs. But when this collection was found, experts were skeptical about the ant idea, and they brought the fossil down to the University of Oregon to take a closer look with their micro CT scanner. Guess what? That revealed the radial shape of the nest that helped determine that it was not ants at all, but grasshopper eggs, which by themselves would be a rare find. But the casing around the eggs, described as protein slurry, the grasshoppers would have made that to keep all the eggs together. That is what pushed this discovery from kind of interesting once in a lifetime to one of a kind. We've never had eggs or egg pods quite like this ever preserved. Like the egg pod itself is the first one that we have ever seen in the scientific literature worldwide, right? So that's really cool. Um, and what it kind of tells us is that this behavior goes back at least 29 million years, right? We know it's probably older than that. The oldest fossil grasshoppers are like 300 million years. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> of course, they have to have been doing that, you know, sometime between 300 million years and 30 million years ago, right? Um, but this is the first confirmed time that we've seen that structure. Um, plus, we don't know anything really about underground eggs of grasshoppers ever, right? Like, so this tells us a lot about the eggs themselves. And the eggs are like the earliest that the animal's been alive, the earliest stage of its life. And now we know a little bit more about what that looked like. And we previously didn't know anything. We didn't even have confirmations that there were grasshoppers in our fossil record out here before these fossils. So yeah, pretty cool. Now, before you get concerned about a Jurassic Park situation with grasshoppers, that is not gonna happen with these because they fossilized many of the eggs are like little geodes with minerals inside and no biological material, according to Dr. Fosmo. And despite the photos making them look large, they're really very small. Uh, they're probably about mm, like four millimeters long and like by two millimeters wide, like they're not super big, right? So a little under half a centimeter, right? They're, they're pretty small. They look kind of more like, um, they look more like grains of rice or Tic Tacs. That was oftentimes my joke when I'd be out in the field and be like, oh, did you guys find another Tic Tac? Okay, cool, right? The egg pod itself is only about one to two inches in diameter. This discovery though, certainly a learning moment for the story team. We didn't really know or even think about how grasshopper eggs, grasshopper eggs are laid, let alone how it happened millions of years ago. It's a common behavior. Grasshoppers will be up on the surface, the ones that do this, they'll be up on the surface and they'll stick their, their very back end of their body, like underground, maybe about an inch or so. And then they just start, you know, depositing the eggs in whatever pattern they, they do it in and they do their different layers. Um, you know, and most grasshoppers lay their eggs on leaves that we normally think of. Uh, but there is a contingency of grasshoppers and their relatives that lay their eggs underground like that. It's not very common for soft tissue to preserve at all. Um, so getting something like this in the original arrangement is like just mind blowing. But, you know, what probably helped it become a fossil is the fact that they were laid underground in the first place. Things that tend to fossilize really easy in the fossil record are things that are already underground. Um, so rodents actually have a really good fossil record uh, for a similar reason. Uh, so those are some of the, you know, all the things working against making this happen and why it has taken so long for something like this to happen. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime sort of discovery. Yeah, 
Very interesting. The individual fossilized eggs received this name in scientific speak. No, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but the second word is to honor the first National Park Service superintendent of John Day Fossil Beds National Monument, Benjamin Ladd. He's credited with protecting the John Day fossil beds, and thankfully he has because a lot of people have been out there and enjoyed them. The, he led the effort to study and preserve the area between 1975 and 1993. His legacy now enshrined in the scientific record. There is a plan to eventually put the grasshopper egg nest fossil on display for the public, but those discussions just now getting underway.